Hi guys, today we're gonna make this sci-fi wall. I'm going to explain my tips and tricks to make a wall in a scene. We're going to start with a Fluent creation. Right click to show the grid and click in the middle. To draw from the center, hold shift. We have the base of our wall. Let's validate the operation. The first step is to cut the side. We use the shape tool by pressing S and click to place the first point. If you hold Ctrl, it will snap by 45 degrees. Click to place the second point and draw a shape like I'm doing, while holding Ctrl. When you are done with the shape, hold Shift and left click. To go through the entire object, we can simply press V. Let's say you don't really like the top part. You can go to edit mode, switch to vertex mode and move them up. Go back to object mode and validate the cut. At the top, I will cut some holes for the lights and use the Array tool by pressing A. Press C to change the number of elements and C again to change the offset. Show the boolean object using the shortcut or the button in the Fluent menu. Hold Shift while clicking the Duplicate tool to extract the boolean. Here we have a separate object, allowing us to move it a bit inside. Next step is a window. With the slice tool, draw from the middle and make sure it goes through the object. Add the bevel by pressing B and validate the cut. With the inside part, we make a cut with the inset face tool. Select the font face, press I, Make sure to keep enough space, left click and press enter. To add a bit more details, use the chamfer tool. The outer bevel is a bit too big, so I'm going to reduce it. Here I'm going to show you a cool trick for sci-fi windows. Use the inset tool and draw from the side of the window. We are making a join to all the glass parts of the window using two insets on top of each other. For the side, we make a medit box attached to the wall. When making a wall, it is important to add some devices around it. Once again, use the Extract Boolean tool by holding Shift. Move the box outside the wall. This front face is a bit too flat. Fortunately, the Extract is a fluent object. We can edit it and add a second bevel. When adjusting the second bevel, it will adjust everything and we only want the front. Click and select Top. Press C to change the profile and don't worry about the artifacts. To fix them, we decrease the angle limit of the outer bevel until the edges are marked sharp. I'm going to slice the box using the shape tool. Add a cut at the bottom. To do so, right click and press A to enable the Align tool. Select the blue dot on the left and the one on the right. We need to rotate the grid by 45 degrees. A quick way is to use the shortcut Ctrl Shift R. Make sure the cut is big enough and cut a bit into the box. To make it look realistic, slice the entire wall in half. For the bottom part, we can add storage. 
with a simple slice in a quarter of the length. Like the box, we need a handle, so cut in the middle. We will use the duplicate tool to reproduce the slice multiple times. Show the booleans and select the slice boolean, not the inside of the slice. This time, do a simple click on the duplicate button. Click to place the slice in each quarter of the faces and as usual, right click to validate the operation. For the left side, I will make some pipes into the wall. But first, we need a place to put them. Once again, we use the duplicate tool while holding shift to extract the boolean. The reason we did this is to use the mirror later on. A face inset, like we did for the window, will do the trick here. We need connectors to hold the pipes. Thanks to the circle tool, it's easy. Array, then mirror it using M. To continue the cut on the current object, use the pen button at the bottom. Here the grid is on both circles. Press X, then right click again to only have the grid on one face. Cut a circle and mirror it to the bottom and left side. Now I will show you a cool trick to make the pipes in a few clicks. Follow my actions. The fact the objects are mirrored will automatically connect them in the middle. For the global details, I will slice those two parts and make sure the cut is large enough to cut also the other part. Select the boolean we just made and shift click on the other part. Use the boolean tool and change the operation to slice. If you ever want to add details to two sliced parts, here is how to do it. Since Everything is non-destructive, you can readjust later on. So here it is guys, if you're struggling with creativity, I really recommend you to watch this video.